Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum. Greetings. Ali Shama here. One of my channel members from California sent me the new FR Sky Tandem X20S radio controller. So first off, thank you very much, my friend. You sent this radio to me, and now I will be able to post a whole lot of new how to program this radio video tutorials. First, let's talk about the features of this radio very, very quickly, and let me give you a closer look. And I will also share my personal opinion about this radio control. First off, let's take a closer look at the radio control system, the face of this radio. Oh man, it gives me feeling like you have a compact aircraft system in your hands. On the face, you have on off button, all right? You have a lanyard hook, trimmers, T1, T2, T3, 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 then you have six of these uh, customizable buttons that you can use to program different flight modes. You have the programming button, model, return, display system with a clicker in the middle, okay? And then you have a dial and clicker on the right side. What I like in this radio is this little slider right here that probably we can actually configure to, you know, uh, control the throttle. For the FPV planes, this kind of throttle can give you some very realistic feel to fly in the RC aircraft, like, you know, increasing the throttle for the real aircraft. Then we have two pots on top here, S1 and S2, a big nice 800 by 480, I believe that's the resolution of the screen. And it is a color touch screen, by the way, okay? This is a color touch screen. So you don't program the radio just using these, but also you can program the radio very, very quickly by just using the touch screen. The gimbals here are the Hall Effect Gimbal, high precision Hall Effect Gimbals, and they have a very nice, good feel on them. Also notice they are very close to the edge, so people with the smaller hands, they actually feel better, and they will be able to control their models precisely without having any unwanted mixes on these four very, very essential channels. Then we have six of the three position switches, three on the left, okay, and three on the right. After that, we have one momentary spring-loaded switch and one two-position switch, which I often use for throttle cut. Then we have the side uh, dials right here that you can access with either index finger or your thumb. So there's one at the right and one at the left of the radio. The grips are very nice and it has a very nice feel on it. The ergonomics of radio are very good and very well thought, very well designed. You have everything in the reach of your hands, thumbs and fingers. And the it feels really nice and comfortable in hands. Now coming at the back side, you have two buttons right here that you can customize and use them for, you know, uh, any other features that you want to control for your aircraft, okay? You have uh, uh, holes under these covers that you can use to configure your gimbals. Yes, you can tighten or loosen the gimbals. And also the gimbals of these radios can be configured with a slight angle on them. So these are customizable gimbals. Then we have two external antenna ports right here, the connectors. So should you want to add high gain external 2.4 GSC and 900 Hertz antennas, you can add them here. After that, under this cover, we have the audio jack, USB-C for charging, TF card slot, an auxiliary port and a DSC jack right here. The radio has a light type module base, so basically you can use light modules, uh, different types of light modules on the back of this radio and increase the functionality of this radio. But a 900 Hertz antenna is already built in this handle and a 2.4 GHz antenna is already built in under this screen. Now the bestest feature for this radio actually is that it offers a dual band solid and a very reliable link to your model. So if you're flying expensive models, you're investing your hard-earned money in your expensive models, you definitely need a very, very reliable and very solid connection. And FR Sky X20S gives you a dual band, 2.4 GHz plus 900 MHz at the same time. So not just that you get the dual band reliability and solid connection to your model, but also you get long range, up to 50, maximum 100 kilometer long range is possible with this radio controller. Notice this nice color screen right here, and it is touch a screen, all right? So you can basically touch and control all the aspects of programming and do all the parameter settings right from here, okay? And I can tell you it is really, really very responsive. As soon as I touch it, it just gives you response right there. 
very responsive, very fluid, very easy to use. Now we have two of the most important radials sitting right here and question that you have been asking yourself, which one should I go for? Well, it's all up to you. I love Radio Master TX16S for it has a four in one multi protocol functionality, which gives this radio an edge because you can bind and control many different kind of models from different manufacturers without having to buy receivers. But when it comes to additional advanced functionality for the programming and more reliable, as I've just mentioned, dual band solid reliable connection to fly expensive models to configure and fly gliders and more complex RC models, RC jets, bigger, more expensive, dangerous type of RC helicopters. I would say you don't want to ignore the reliability of RF connection that dual band offers. Now a little bit about the operating systems. First off, Edge TX, especially talking about the Radio Master TX16S. Many people in the beginning will find Edge TX to be very intimidating when they turn the radio on. They have no idea what to do, how to do, where to go, how to program, all these sort of things. But as you learn the basics and the concept of the programming of Edge TX, you find this is very, very easy and you will love all the customization that you can program using the HTX for your models. Now, my personal opinion, if you know how to program an HTX radio controller, you will be able to program the FR Sky X20S with Ethos operating system just fine. So don't be intimidated. Don't think that, oh, Ethos, a completely brand new operating system. Oh man, there are way too many options. Yes, there are many more options, but that means you have more options, more customization that you can easily perform for your models. So once again, if you know how to program Edge TX, it's easy to program Ethos as well. People, thank you very much for watching and listening to Radio Transmitter Podcast. Now you know what to expect next. Inshallah, I will be posting more video tutorials with Ethos operating system on FR Sky Tandem X20S. Yes, I'm going to start building my Goose Sky RS7. My plan is to put an H1 GPS flight controller, the full version on it, and configure it with H1 flight controller and program the model with FR Sky X20S so you all know how to program H1 flight controller for your bigger RC helicopters using the Tandem X20S. Also, I will be flying, also I will be switching many of, also I will be able to, also I can switch my Fly Sky not just that, but I'm also planning to switch some of my flying RC helicopters, scale RC helicopters, running the scale H1 light flight controller like Huey UH1 V4, uh, Airwolf, to this radio controller so I can make more video tutorials on how to program your flying scale GPS RC helicopters with FR Sky X20S. Plus, of course, there is one new flight controller sitting right here. So now that the Tandem X20S is here, next I'm going to start building the Goose Sky RS7, 700 size helicopter. I have got everything for that helicopter. It took me a lot, man, that, man, building that RC helicopter is so expensive that I could, that in that amount of money, I can easily buy a Toyota Camry in United Arab Emirates. So anyway, I'm going to start building the Goose Sky RS7, after which I'm gonna install the H1 full GPS flight controller on that helicopter. I'm gonna make a video tutorial on how to program your H1 autopilot system for a 700 size helicopter or bigger helicopters and how to program your FR Sky X20S to fly your bigger RC helicopters running an H1 flight controller. Not just that, I will also be posting how to program your flying GPS RC helicopters with FR Sky X20S and yes, 3D helicopters. We don't want to forget 3D helicopters. I'll be posting video tutorials on how to program your Tandem X20S to fly 3D RC helicopters. And guess what? I have a new Nexus flight controller from Radio Master 
to use on these 3D RC helicopters. I still have to test this, so I'll be able to post another video tutorial on how to program your Frisky X20S to configure and fly 3D RC helicopters running Radio Master Nexus flight controllers. So there are a whole lot of video tutorials coming on my channel, people. Stay tuned, stay subscribed, and don't forget to watch those videos. And if you have any other ideas, you want me to make any other video tutorials with X20S radio control system, please comment on this video and I will plan and schedule a video for that. Once again, thank you very much. It's getting very, very hot in my muscles right here. I'm out.